Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So, tonight's the night. Um, I am due for my bladder surgery tomorrow. Um, yeah, mixture of feelings. Um, it's been a very strange day, I have to admit. You know, it's been the most beautifulest, sunniest day today ever, um, which is really strange. <sighs> so many emotions, so many different thoughts. Um, very strange. There's part of me which is, it's a strange sensation, but it's kind of like because I've had so, so long of having this horrendous bladder problem, this severe overactive bladder syndrome, um, which has taken such a hold of my life, tomorrow there's a possibility that this could all come to an end and I could finally get to get um, I suppose what I'm trying to say is I could I could finally be in a position tomorrow where I can start to move forward and deal with the other health issues, the other sort of hernia issues and the other problems with my groin and things, which is really affecting my walking and my back and things at the moment. But I think most of all the bladder problem, the that situation has really, really changed me as a person um, in, a, in not a good way at all. Uh, really, really been quite detrimental on a lot of factors of my life. Um, I mean, not being able to go anywhere unless I, I know where a bathroom is or having to always keep visiting the bathroom. Um, and to think that that tomorrow, if everything goes well with a surgery, that could be behind me is just incredible. And that's what I'm hoping for. Um, of course, I have to be realistic. And I am kind of sat here right now thinking that and I've, I've just had this conversation with my amazing mum, which she's been, and always is, so, so supportive to me. Um, my parents are incredible. Um, and all of my family have been very, very supportive to me. Um, but of course, your parents, they're, they're there, aren't they, through everything. And they, and they know what you're thinking or how you're feeling before you've even said it. Um, and mine truly do. Um, and, it's, and it's kind of like I'm thinking to myself now, I've had such a problem for so long now really really bad for about the last 16 months horrendous um and kind of thinking is this all just going to disappear tomorrow i know it's going to get worse they've already told me it's going to get worse after the surgery tomorrow before it gets better of course you can imagine can't you any type of surgery in that area all, all sort of bruising and things like that um with whatever they do um to try and rectify the situation um you can just imagine can't you and yeah, so that kind of is a little bit, um, well, worrying, stressful, you name it, I'm feeling it at the moment. But um, I'm just thinking, how can a problem which has been so horrific for so long be resolved tomorrow? And of course it could well be, but there's part of me which has to be realistic to think that, okay, it might be better tomorrow, but of course it might not. Um, but of course, I think that's life, isn't it? You have to be optimistic. You have to be positive. And I am trying to be positive. But I think I've had parts of today which have been quite, quite sort of thoughtful, quite tough. Um, but on the exterior, I've really, really tried to sort of smile and think that everything's OK because it is OK. It is OK. I've got my amazing family, really, really supportive. And whatever happens, we have a way of getting through these things, don't we? And I, I certainly do. I mean, I've got my amazing family, as I say, um, to get me through. And um, I like to think I'm a strong person. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for a little while now. Um, I am taking this step on my journey to hopefully finding a resolution to living with a horrendous bladder problem. And hopefully next time I... I'm on my channel. Hopefully that will be a distant memory. Hopefully. And I can then look forward to the next stage of dealing with the hernia problems and the hernia mesh and things which I've got going on. But it would be lovely to say that the bladder problem would be behind me. So, and recently what I would just like to say there is I've received so many amazing comments, so many supportive comments about how I'm feeling lately with the hernia problems, with the upcoming surgeries and things. If you are watching this, to all my subscribers, to my views, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And it and it has really, really got me through some real dark, deep moments where I've gone on my channel. I've seen these comments and they've just really lifted me. So thank you. Thank you sincerely. And I think on that note, 
next time you see me, hopefully I will not have a bladder problem. So that prospect is really, really positive and really, really lovely. But of course, it's a hell of a mountain to go, first of all. Um, OK, so until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye for now.